G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 30th, 2025's Killer Hidden Arrows Sudoku by Clover. I was one of our sites here at Gas HQ, so online. My name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how are you doing? Um, it's an absolute pleasure, delight, and joy to be back with you. Um, I haven't gotten up off the couch since recording the last video, but you know, it's always nice to just be uh, vibing and chilling on a Saturday night. Um, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create sets of genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find a link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time, one hat for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. That being said, I'm going to get into it. Let's do it. So, this is Killer Hidden Arrow. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain this one to nine once each. Now, digits in cages do not repeat and must sum to the indicated total. So we already know that that has to be a two because three plus one plus two makes six. Now, in addition, in every cage, one end of the cage must contain a digit that is the sum of all, end, uh, all the other digits in the cage. So we know that here three equals one plus two, but here, we're probably going to need this digit, uh, unless three is going to be the sum of one and two, somehow making 16, we might need that arrow to go that way instead. Um, that's it. Oh, the sum digit is always on one end of the cage, never in the center. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, I'm going to get into it now. Let's do it. So I'm going to leave that because that's fair. Now, um, key part with uh, killer hidden arrows is whenever you're trying to figure out what's supposed to go in the cage, remember at one end of the cage, you should have, uh, you should have half the total of the cage. So I know that that's going to be an eight because I can't put the eight here and then five and three make eight. Can't put seven at the end, so that's going to be seven and six. Uh, I need to put a 2 and a 9 in row 1, but because I know that it has to go not in the middle, that's going to be 9, uh, 4, and 5. 18 is going to need a three, a 9 at the end. It has to go like that. Uh, this has to be 8, 1, and 7, uh, because 16 halved is 8, and uh, I can't make it 3, 5, or 2, 6. The two ones here are going to tell me the 1 goes like that making this a two. Uh, three needs to go on one end of a six cage, so it has to look like that. Eight has to go on one end of a 16 cage, making it look like that. Nine has to go on one end of an 18 cage, making it look like that. This is now four and five. I don't know what that's gonna be just yet, but that's fine. I need to put an eight halfway along a 16 cage. Uh, I need to place a six somewhere. Uh, in this cage, but because this can't be a one, uh, ah, yeah, 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 so this has to be, uh, oh, <laughs> words, um, now, that's a cute little bit of logic, so, because this has to be six and two digits summing to six, it can't be one five, so it has to be two and four, if the six went here, I could never put two in one of those two cells, so this has to be six, four, two, being that five and four, now, uh, what else do I know? I know that this 18 cage needs to have a nine at one end, and it can't be that one, so it has to be nine, three, and six. Nine can't go here, so nine has to go here, which puts a nine up here. Uh, now, this can't be one, eight, two, seven, or three, six, so it must be four and five. I don't quite know which way that goes yet, but that's fine. This has to be an eight. That eight there rules eight from being out there in the 16 cage, so eight has to go here. Uh, now, can't be one, seven, or three, five, so it must be two and six. Six is gonna go here and do quite a bit of work for us. Uh, and that's all of the variant done. Let's see what we can do to finish off this puzzle. That's seven, that's three. Uh, one goes there. Uh, this is a six, this is a four and a five. Five, four, five. Seven, two up here. Six is that box. Uh, five and seven, uh, nine and eight. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, eight goes over here. Uh, seven and two. Uh, one and six. Uh, two and four. Uh, this is a four. 
three and five go that way. Uh, where does seven go in box five? Not there. That's a seven, that's a two and a four. Two here means that two must go there, which unwinds box two for me. Uh, this is a two as well. Uh, four, three, and five. And then this is five and nine. And then four and six. <sighs> nice way to finish off uh, August. Except for my puzzle tomorrow. Uh, have fun with that one. Um, this has been Killer Hidden Arrow Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, wherever you are in the world. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time. Yes.